Today I want to talk to you about uh, the power of prayer. And I think a good illustration of the power of prayer is the story of the first family that I baptized in Argentina. They were the Almada family. Uh, the dad, was his name was Fabian, uh, the wife, uh, Silvina, and they had four children. And um, the Almada family uh, moved in to the home uh, right behind our missionary apartment within about a, a week of, of me arriving uh, in Argentina. And uh, with, with them, their large family living right behind us, we ran into them a lot. I can remember uh, my companion, who was an Argentine native, uh, kicking the soccer ball around with their son as we came and went from our apartment. One uh, evening when we got home from uh, our work, uh, my companion wanted to cook something for dinner, and he wanted to make something with sugar, as I recall, but we didn't have any. So he thought this was a great opportunity to go ask uh, our new neighbors, the Almadas, if, uh, if we could borrow some sugar. And I think he also thought it was a good chance to formally uh, introduce ourselves and tell them who we were as missionaries. Uh, so we did so. We borrowed some sugar. and We had a, a very nice conversation with them. And they invited us to uh, return and teach the first discussion. Um, so... Uh, we went back on another date and we, we taught them the first discussion and it went great. Uh, they were very receptive to the, the message. Uh, Fabian, the dad, the dad had uh, told us that, that they had been searching for the true gospel uh, of Jesus Christ. Um, and, uh, and they seemed to be responding well. Um, we, uh, we scheduled an appointment for, for the second discussion. And uh, when we got back for the second discussion, we found that uh, Fabian and Silvina had uh, been reading a lot in the Book of Mormon, and uh, we gave them some additional uh, church uh, pamphlets and, and materials to read, and they were just um, uh, reading everything they could. They had lots of good questions for us. At the end of the, the second discussion, uh, my companion uh, invited Fabian and Silvina uh, to be baptized, and without hesitation, uh, they both said, yes, absolutely, they'd love to be baptized. So, um, about a week before their baptism, uh, there was a, a trial of faith. Uh, Fabian lost his job. And um, Silvina later told us uh, more details of what happened. Um, she said that uh, the morning after he lost his job, he got up, he knelt down, and he prayed uh, fervently for a half hour. Um, after praying, he got up, uh, left the house, and went to find a job. Um, now economic times were pretty tough in Argentina at that time um, and uh, so uh, we were all praying for him uh, to, to be able to find a job. Uh, that night he returned uh, and a miracle happened. Not only did he find one job, he found two jobs working more hours and making more money than he had before. It was, it was a tremendous blessing um, and, and a, a testament to the power of faithful prayer. Um, so, uh, the, the day of the baptism arrived, uh, I, I baptized Fabian and their 10-year-old son, uh, Christian. Um, uh, my companion baptized Silvina, the mom, and uh, their 8-year-old daughter, daughter uh, Anai, Anaya, I think was her name. <laughs> um, it was a wonderful experience to, to see the baptism of this family, and, um, it was it was amazing to see how in in this um, moment where um, the Almada's faith was was strong, but it was it was still young and weak uh, to some extent, and, and it was growing, it was a growing faith in the gospel. But when they had the trial, uh, their faith wasn't shaken. Uh, they responded uh, very well, very faithfully, uh, and 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 through the power of some faithful prayers. Um, the Almanas were blessed both temporally uh, and spiritually. And uh, so will be the case for you, for your family, uh, and, and the missionaries and the missionary work as you uh, go forward in faith and, and, and use the power of prayer. The Lord will bless you greatly.